Williams is good. He's really good. But at the same time, there's only one Johnny Cash. I mean, even more so than Freddie Mercury. I mean, there is only one Johnny Cash, y'all. Yeah. I mean, seriously. Brokeback. <laughs> Brokeback Mountain. Okay, guys. Come on, man. Come on. It's too late. I can't even I can't even pretend to be serious about this. Can we finally be honest about Brokeback Mountain? It's been 14 years. Okay. Two sheep herders named Jack and Enos on Brokeback Mountain. Oh, but yeah, two gay sheep, herker, sheep herders named Jack and Enos on Brokeback Mountain. This was a pilot for a sitcom. You know it was. You know it was. And somehow it became the Oscar darling of the year. On top of that, yeah, Jake Gyllenhaal is very good at the movie. <laughs> Crash. Crash is a melodrama, and people bitch about it now, but, but come on. Crash is a really, really good movie with two truly excellent scenes and a couple of very good performances. And a brave performance from Sandra Bullock. Uh, you don't often see women who are like America's sweethearts like she is uh, playing a character like that. Good Night and Good Luck was an interesting movie using real footage of real people with actors playing off of it, playing real people. And it's very minimalist in its set design and uh, stuff like that. It was, it was an interesting, it's a very good movie. A uh, very good film from uh, George Clooney Capote. It is an excellent movie, excellent, excellent film is just see Capote. Uh, the whole Bennett Miller trilogy of uh, true stories there, but Capote, Moneyball, and uh, Foxcatcher, they get they get increasingly far off track from reality, but they're all three really good movies. Uh, Hustle and Flow. Hustle and Flow is my favorite movie from 2015. It's a very inspiring film, and it's one of my favorite musicals ever. And Terrence Howard is DJ. DJ! is just, like I said, inspiring. Inspiring film, inspiring performance. Three Burials, uh, The Three Burials of Melchiatus Estrada is a sanctimonious piece of shit. I've always hated that movie. The kind of whole idea is like you can torture a person, you can kidnap and torture people as long as you feel like you're morally superior to them. Okay, Everything that is Illuminated is a very unique movie. Uh... Directed by Leif Schreiber, starring um, uh, Elijah Wood, just about an eccentric guy who goes on eccentric on an eccentric journey, meets some of an eccentric family members, and they have an eccentric adventure. It's a, an eccentric story. It's an eccentric fucking movie. And my last category I have here, thank God for y'all bearing with me if you have, is twists, turns, thrills, and frights. Going to talk about. Scary movies and thrillers and whatnot. Hope y'all like this one. First off, we got Constantine. Constantine was an adaptation of the DC Vertigo comic book, starring the horribly cast Keanu Reeves. I understand Keanu Reeves getting involved in this movie is probably why the movie got made in the first place. Doesn't change the fact that he's absolutely a terrible choice in the role, and he was terrible in the movie and kind of ruined it. Uh, the Exorcism of Emily Rose. A lot of people like that movie. I've never liked it, mainly because it didn't. I, th the whole court courtroom process of the movie felt so unrealistic that I couldn't really get caught up in the ghost shit. I mean, if y'all can't get the courtroom shit right, I mean, how am I supposed to get supposed to believe the ghost house shit? Um, Red Eye. Red Eye's a fun movie. Wes Craven movie, Rachel McAdams, and Killian Murphy. I have a copy of it here. It was kind of a breakout year for both those actors. And it was a good movie. Much better than the other Wes Craven movie that, that year, which I'm going to mention in a minute. Uh, which was, oh fuck, it was Cursed. Werewolf movie with Jesse Eisenberg, Christina Ricci, brother and sister get bit by a werewolf. It was just far too similar to Scream and it wasn't very good. Uh, Hide and Seek was a shitty, 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 shitty movie. There, there, there's, a, there's a theme this year. You know, like Hide and Seek and uh, High Tension other movies where the big twist wasn't surprising at all. The, the, the main character is the killer. This, this kind of predictable repetitive style of horror movies they were doing at the time. Uh, Munich is a thrilling movie, really good. Syriana is a very fun movie. 
uh, not fun, but a good movie. Derailed is a piece of shit with Jessica with, with Jennifer Aniston, featuring the most unrealistic villain maybe in movie history. You steal a guy's wallet. Okay, you stole his wallet. You move on. You don't fucking like show up at his house and start tearing, uh, terrorizing his family and his kids. You just stole a wallet. Just move on. <laughs> It's like, Jesus shit, how, how big of a crime did this filmmaker think stealing a wallet was? You know what? The Constant Gardener. My dad recently compared that movie, uh, the kind of shit uh, Rachel Wise does in that movie, to the stuff you see Jim Acosta doing, which just, just made me funny. And that's now all I can think of when, when I think of that movie. History of Violence was a horrible movie. The big twist of a History of Violence is there's no twist. He's the guy they're looking for. What a twist. Uh, Dark Water. Dark Water is a movie my wife bought a few years ago that I had never seen until she bought it. Uh, I thought it was interesting mainly because uh, it has this event that happens in it, which kind of really happened, but after the events of the film. and But to me, it was really detrimental about that movie. I was more caught up and intrigued by the family drama than the ghost story. <laughs> Uh, Wolf Creek was a shitty movie. Wolf Creek really bugged me about that movie. You get to know the characters, get to care about the characters, and when they all die, it's like, oh, but it's because of realism. But, well, r the guy that you're basing things off, the backpack killer, was caught. So, you know, you're just a dick getting us to know these characters so they can kill off. Why can't you give us a heroic story? The Cave is kind of a silly horror movie. It's very similar to the film The Descent, which, uh, uh, which is, in my opinion, very overrated. I sort of prefer the film The Cave just because it's not as pretentious. Uh, Cry Wolf is an un uh, unappreciated horror movie. With, it had a very interesting um, uh, marketing campaign back today starring Lindy Booth, who uh, just kind of disappeared. She was really good in that. And I actually was looking, I just looked forward to films that had her name attached to them. Uh, just cause, because she was that good in this. Uh, The Jacket was a disappointing horror movie. A uh, guy uh, is in nineteen ninety two every time he falls asleep, he wakes up fifteen years in the, thirteen years in the future, trying to piece together his own death. Turns out that nobody murders him, no one happens to him, he just hits his head on some ice. It was a really stupid movie and very typical of the time. Mine Hunters was another cliche, stupid horror movie about a bunch of fucking FBI profilers. Get Stranded somewhere. One of them was serial killer. It was just so stupid. Layer Cake was stupid. Venom was a fun little swamp horror movie that was stupid, but yeah, it was fun. I liked Venom for all the wrong reasons. And Undead. Undead was a zombie Western Australian uh, alien invasion comedy movie. Uh, the thing, most memorable thing about that movie is the last shot of a chick sitting on her on her porch watching her chicken coop full of zombies, uh, and that's it. That's all 82 movies of that year I saw. I went 41 minutes. This has way been my longest video, and I really, really doubt anybody watched this. <laughs> if you did, God fucking bless you. I love you. Thank you so much. I didn't mean to do this. I'm sorry. But at the same time, really, thank you very much. Anyhow, that's 2005. I, I told you my favorite movie. Uh, Crash won Best Picture that year. I don't know if I pointed that out. Uh, it was kind of a so-so year for movies. It wasn't really great, but there was a lot of variety that year, no doubt. Uh, anyhow, yeah, that's my video. It's way too long. I'll just shut the fuck up. I'm Jake Davis, and I'll catch you on the fly.